hey, what's up? In this problem, we're going to prove that A intersection B is contained in A, which is also contained in A union B. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the proof. So proof. Proof. So we'll start the proof uh, by showing the first inclusion. We'll show that A intersection B is contained in A. Okay, so to do that, we'll take an element in A intersection B, and we'll show what's also in A. So if we can show every element here is also here, we're done. So I take any x in the intersection. So any x in A intersection B. And now we have to show uh, that it's also in A. So now we use the definition of intersection, right? So this means, so this means, so what does it mean for x to be in the intersection? Well, it means it's in A and it's also in B. So this means x is in A and x is in B. So we want to show it's in A, so it's already written here. So what we can do is we can emphasize that by using specific language. We can say something like, in particular, x is in A. Right? To isolate, but that's the fact that we want to emphasize. So we took an x in the intersection, we showed it's in A, therefore the intersection is contained in A. So this shows, this shows that A intersection B is contained in A. Now we have to show that A is contained in union, so we'll do it again. So now take any x, we could have used the same x, but let's, let's start over. So now take any x in A. And now we have to show it's in the union. So here's the trick. This means, this might not make sense, but I'll explain it. This means x is in A, or x is in B. So you may say, what? How do you know it's in B? Ha, I didn't say that, right? So an or statement in mathematics is true under one of the three conditions. Either x is in A, it's in B, or it's in both. So or is inclusive and is true under three conditions. Either this is true, this is true, or they're both true. Well, x is in A, so the first condition is true, therefore this statement, this or statement is also true, okay? Why did we do that? Because this is precisely, the def this is precisely what it means for x to be the union. So x is precisely the definition of union. So we started with an x and a, and we show it is in the union. So this shows, this shows that a is contained in a union b. A is contained in a union b. So that completes the proof. So we've shown, so therefore, let's see, we have, uh, here it is, a intersection b is contained in a. So a intersection b is contained in a. And then A is contained in the union, so it's contained in the union. And that completes the proof. That's it. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Until next time.